Hey guys, The Balloon here, and today's another BTD6 video, and today's gonna be Monkey Meadow Half Cash with no monkey knowledge, no abilities, and also no crazy RNG. This is gonna be an extremely easy Monkey Meadow Half Cash. If you guys are newer players to the game, or you're just having trouble beating some Half Cash, because let's be honest, Half Cash can be harder than Chimp sometimes, this is the guide for you. For this strategy, our hero is going to be Quincy because he's amazing and everybody has access to him, which makes him a great hero for these beginner maps. Now, unfortunately, on Half Cash, we have like no money, so the first thing we're gonna have to do is just place one dark monkey and drop him right here in the top right corner as close as you can get it and then you're going to hit play now what we're going to do is we're going to save up every single round until the end of round seven meaning that we're going to lose some lives but trust me we'll have more than enough to keep on going so to save up till the end of round seven now at the end of round seven, I have 59 lives and $500. Depending on how the dart monkey feels that round, you're gonna have anywhere between like 55 and I've seen as high as around like 65. But like I said, don't worry, you're gonna have more than enough to keep on going. Now what we're going to do to make this stop losing lives, we're gonna sell this dart monkey. So go on to him and then click sell. Then we're going to buy a Quincy and we're gonna place him on the opposite side of the track right here in this top left corner. Now he's good enough to go for a while. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna save up $540 for a ninja. Now we'll reach 540 during this round, but what I'm gonna do for most of this strategy, I'm just gonna place towers and upgrade towers at the end of the map or the end of the round to make things easier for everybody watching. So now that we have more than enough to buy this ninja, what we're gonna do is we're gonna place him right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna place him in the top left corner, just like we did Quincy, but on this area. And the reason why is because once we get this upgrade, Ninja Discipline, he's gonna be able to see up here, which means he can hit the track here, here, and here. He's gonna be the MVP of this entire game. Now, after you have him placed, hit play, and we're gonna save up $325 for Ninja Discipline. Here we go at the end of round 14, getting Ninja Discipline. And if you guys had the luck that I had, we did have one red balloon slip through here, but luckily because of his placement, he was able to knock it out with no problems, which is why this is a perfect spot for the Ninja, because he has access to the beginning of the balloons and the end if something does happen to get by. Now the next thing I want to do is save up 270 for the Seeking Shurikens. And here we go with that at the end of round 16, and now we're going to save up 380 for the Sharp Shurikens. So at the end of round 19, we got the Sharp Shurikens, and now, as you can probably tell, we have this guy and this guy who both can see... Okay, now he can see camo, so both these guys can see camo, so we are good on round 24. Now, the next thing we're going to have to worry about is round 28, we're going to have our first leads, and neither of these guys can pop them. He will be able to later, but probably not by 28. So what we're going to do is we're going to save up $650 for a cannon to make sure we knock out all those leads. So at the end of 24, I do have $650 ready to buy this guy, so what we're going to do is we're going to place him at the bottom end of this one right here, and we're going to place him on strong so he only targets those leads early on. And from here on out, we're just gonna save up $920 to get this double shot. I wanna show you guys why the strong is important. So what's gonna happen is he's only gonna attack these leads. And as you can see, these ones are getting past him. He doesn't care about them because he's on strong targeting, meaning he's gonna hit the strongest balloons on the map, which in this case are the leads. So 28 and 30 are gonna be super, super easy. At the end of round 29, we got the double shot and let's just keep hitting play. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is save up 595 for an alchemist. So we have more than enough for this guy right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take him and place him below the ninja. And what we're looking for is to keep him just anywhere in this area that is over the ninja. So as you can see, the ninja is in his range. You can place him right where I have him if you want. And we're just gonna keep him out of the range of potential towers that are going to be here because we only want him to give his buffs that we're going to get onto the ninja. And now we're gonna hit play. Now the alchemist, we're just gonna go to the third tier top. So we're gonna go larger potions. We're gonna save another 380 for acidic mixture dip. And then we're gonna save up 1350 for berserker brew. So at the end of round 37, I'm gonna buy acidic mixture dip and berserker brew. I kind of waited on a city mission dip because I forgot to buy it at the end of the round and I told you guys I'm only going to buy it at the end of the round. Plus it only really helps us with ceramics and with Moab class which we haven't seen yet. So now that we have Berserker Brew that's what we were going for. Now he's just stronger in general and he's going to be awesome. So now with this little combo here we're pretty much good to go. Now all we have to do is prep for round 40 which is going to be the Moab which sometimes these guys can pop it and beat it on its own, but it's a chance there and I don't wanna take a chance. So what we're going to do is we're gonna upgrade this guy to faster reload and missile launcher, and then we're gonna save up 970 for a Moab Mauler. Now the Moab Mauler is pretty much gonna open up the Moab on his own. And then these guys, this little dream team down here is gonna wreck everything else and make 40 super easy and no abilities needed. So here we are at the end of 39, we're gonna buy the Moab Mauler, we're gonna leave him on strong, and then we're gonna hit play. We're not gonna buy anything else. And watch this guy, he'll open him up near the top of this little area, I believe. There we go, and then these guys will clean up everything. And if so happens that it makes it to this side, it really doesn't matter because like I said, the ninja can see down here as well, and so can this guy. 
So it is a foolproof plan. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of max out both of these guys, or as max as we're gonna get in half cash. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get Caltrops on this guy. And this is just awesome in general, in case something does happen to leak through, it'll usually save you. Now we're gonna save up 2970 for Bloon Jitsu. So at the end of round 44, I still do not have my 2970, meaning that we will get it this round, but I promised you we will not upgrade till the end of the round. But just look at this little dream team go. He's wrecking everything even still in round 45, which is awesome. And look how much money we have now. So at the end of 45, I'm gonna buy Bloon Jitsu for 2970. Now our next step, like I said, we're gonna to try to max this guy out as well. We're gonna buy a stronger stimulant. So if we need to save up 3240. At the end of round 48, we are going to buy a stronger stimulant and now we are done with this guy. So these guys are as max as we're going to get or half cash because we're never gonna have that much money here. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna save up 1295 for a village. But in the meantime, just watch how awesome these guys are and you're not gonna even need anything for a while. So at the end of round 54, I have $7,271 saved up. I just kind of wanted to show how great this dream team is and how you don't even really need that much. And I kind of want to upgrade everything at once to make it a little cooler. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our village and we're going to place it right here. Now what we're looking for is that right now, as you can see, the bottom left side, the ninja is not highlighted in white. And all we're going to do is move him over until he is. That's that simple. We want the ninja and that yellow Moab Mauler up top to be highlighted in white. And just like so, it doesn't really matter where else. Like just make sure they're both highlighted white and not the guy down there. See how he's a little bit right there? We don't want that, we don't want that. So what we're going for is just right there where they're both in the white. Okay, cool. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get bigger radius, jungle drums, and primary training. Now what primary training does, it gives all the primary towers more speed, projectiles, speed, that's the same thing, uh, pierce, and then something else too. It makes it cool, right? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have that guy right there and we're gonna place another primary tower. So we're gonna take this guy and place him just right next to it on the side, just like so. Now the next thing we wanna do, that was just for a placeholder to kind of show you what we're gonna do with that bomb tower. Now we wanna focus on this guy. We wanna get grow blocker and we wanna save up for radar scanner because as you could probably tell, these guys are kind of wrecking ball everything that comes through, but eventually we're gonna get overrun with some camos that maybe they can't handle. So let's just prep ourselves a little bit and we'll get radar scanner for 2160. Now everybody sees camo except for this guy, but all his goal is is to make our ninja stronger. So it really doesn't matter. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get ready for round 60, which is a BFB, and then round 63, which is a ton and ton of ceramics coming through that are gonna wreck us until we get this guy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get extra range, frag bombs, and then cluster bombs. And now we're gonna save up $3,025 for recursive cluster. So right here, I wanted to show you the importance of having the camo village and why you wanna get it early on before you start upgrading like all these big bang towers is because right here on round 59. So we have a ton of camo leads coming, right? and it makes it 10 times easier that this guy and this guy can pop camo leads. If not, you're relying on Quincy's every third fire arrow shot, and then you required this guy to buff him with the acidic initiative, which is just random. So it's very, very, very helpful to have the radar scanner on this village, so then this guy can just pop all your leads for you. Now, I did forget to upgrade this guy, so let's grab him right now, recursive cluster. And what he does is just really cool stuff. He just blows everything up and makes it super easy. But as you can see, this Moab Mauler just wrecks on his own. He just takes down everything and it's really, really cool. And then everything that's broken down underneath, this guy can handle. Now, the next thing I would like to do here is get bigger bombs for 380. And then we're going to get heavy bombs for 700 at the end of this round. Just like so at the end of round 61. Now for 63, it's like I said, it's three rushes of ton of ceramics. It gets a little crazy, but not with this dream team here. I'm not even going to buy anything. We don't even need to. This recursive cluster is just awesome. He does this big old explosion thing that just kind of breaks everything down. And then meanwhile, these guys are just trying their best to clean everything up and look at that thing go. And let's say something did happen to slip through. It'd only be a few balloons and then this guy would get it right here. Plus his caltrops are there to help. Easy stuff. Now round 63 is normally pretty tough. Even on half gash, it's like super tough, but not with these towers here. So now what we're gonna do now and how I kind of build these strategies, I kind of look to see what's coming next and to see what's going on. And as you can see, this guy is still breaking these mobs pretty greatly, but now look how far along the track they're making it. We don't want that. We want them to destroy a lot sooner so this guy doesn't have as much work to do and we're not reliant on this guy to pop things. So what we're gonna do is grab another Moab Mauler. So we're gonna place a bomb right here next to his buddy. We're gonna place him on strong and we're gonna go faster reload, missile launcher, and then Moab Mauler. Now they don't stand a chance against us. I'm just gonna keep continuing to save money. I am on round 66, I have $2,400. I'm just gonna keep saving money for my next tower because I don't wanna just place them and keep upgrading. I think we should just do it all at once. And these guys are doing more than fine on their own. 
Now, just a quick tip for this video or any other video that I have out there, guys. I tend to talk a lot and to blab a lot. And the method of my madness is to try to make you guys understand it as best as possible. But sometimes I probably talk too much. I know that. So what I would recommend, if that's the case, you guys are getting a little struggle worthy on it. You can always just mute me and just have me yapping with no words to it and just kind of place down what I do. Because strategies like this one or my Monkey Meadows Chimp strategy requires no abilities, no crazy timing. So really all you have to do is just kind of mimic where I put these towers and you're going to be good to go every single time. Now let's just finish up around 70 as well with these towers and then we'll start adding some more stuff. We really don't need much. And we're only going to be putting a little bit more just to kind of guarantee our victory all the way to around 80 because around 76 gets a little crazy around 78 gets a little crazy but guys we're pretty much almost there so the next thing i'd like to do is i'd like to take an ice tower and for him what we're going to do is we're going to place him um you can place him below this guy right here that's always a good spot and kind of well, actually in case you guys didn't leave the room there i don't want to place him there and then mine's a little different so what we're going to do is we're just going to place him right here i don't want to have any any troubles with anybody watching right now so what we're going to do is just make sure that he has the white outline around the village and he has those little buffs above his head okay that's important so now what we're going to do is we're going to get larger radius refreeze cryo cannon icicles permafrost and metal freeze now this guy is just a brick wall well, an ice wall i guess and we're going to put him on strong as well so we have these two on strong and this guy as well and pretty much anything that gets in his path that's a balloon is just going to stop right in front of him letting this guy and everybody else just hit on them and just break them down to nothing. Now we only have one last thing we're gonna do before we just call this a day and let it just wreck through everything and that's just gonna get one Moab Mauler. You don't always even need it, but what I wanna do is just make this even easier for us. And sometimes you'll see they kind of struggle or if they're on strong, they'll go after the wrong Moab. So we're just gonna put another one out there so they can all just wreck them really quickly and we have no problems at all. So we're gonna take one right here. We're just gonna put it above their buddies, but remember, make sure that it has the buffs and he's outlined in white, cause right here, not good. We want that village outlined in white. We want to place it just anywhere in this circle. We're going to go middle path three. So just Moab Mauler like that. And we're going to put him on strong. And that is it, guys. 75 is hard, but not with this. 76 is going to be easy. 78 is going to be easy. Everything is just going to be easy. So I want to sit through round 76 with you just to show you that it's not that big of a deal. I think sometimes they'll get around to this area, but even so, not that big of a deal. Or so sometimes it'll just be eliminated right here. Some other times they will make it to here and even to here sometimes. But with this guy just cleaning up everything and this guy stopping everything, it's so, so, so easy. Here we go around 80 with that big dog ZOMG and watch these guys go. These guys are just going to have at it and they're just going to clean up everything underneath. So if you can handle 79, you can handle 80. Really not that much big of a difference. This guy's just going to get at it. And here we go. Let's clean up these Moabs. Take them out before we even get past these guys. Oh, okay. I was hoping that they would just get it like right at the start there, but they didn't even make it around the last bin. So we are more than good to go there. Now, guys, I did want to remind you that we do have abilities down here. So remember, at any time, you guys are more than capable or more than able to just hit the number two and clean up everything underneath just like so. Round 80, round 76, round 78. My goal of this video is just to make this as easy and as simple as possible where you just place towers down and win. And that's what we have here. So if you guys ever felt you thought you might lose, drop that first ability, clean up what's underneath, and there you're good to go. And I forgot to mention too, I think we had like $13,000 left on round 80. So you guys are, you guys could also just spend as much money as you want. You could have bought more bombs, more maulers, another ninja, another ice guy, whatever you, a boomerang, you can buy whatever you want because we had tons of money on round 80 and half cash, which is just awesome. But I hope you guys like what you saw. And if you did, definitely hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and let me know what you thought below. Let me know if it helped you. Let me know if I could have made improvements anywhere to make it even easier for you. And I'll see you guys next time.